We often want to know the best way to do things, like the best way to organize our game files. Well, there's no silver bullet in this regard. I'm going to give you some guidelines and some examples in this video, but please note that it's highly contextual, like lots of things in code. So what I recommend in general is to try to have folders that give information about the code structure of your game. If you look at this game where uh, we can go through dungeons, it's a roguelite, uh, and we have uh, all kinds of weapons and enemies and combinations of the, the spells and bullets that you can use, um, we have folders dedicated to bullets in the game because they can be combined in many ways. We have one folder dedicated to weapons because the player can use them, enemies might use them, um, they can combine with bullets in different ways, and we have one folder for the player because we have a very clear, distinct uh, player entity that has special controls and unique code. That's uh, quite different from the enemies, which um, have uh, different kinds of code and controls and, and patterns than the player. There's no code sharing between the two, so they exist in separate folders. Um, so the idea is that bullets, enemies, player, weapons, this tells you that, okay, this is a game or a code base where these things, these four things, are separate. They use separate code, they can be composed in different ways, but they uh, don't have strong dependencies. Uh, if only the player could use weapons, I would put the weapons folder inside of the player folder like this, right? Uh, but that's not the case, so we separate the weapons folder. And that's the general idea. There's, on top of that, one folder I recommend having called common uh, shared assets. I recommend to put all the things that are going to be reused by different systems in your game. For example, a damage area, a chest that you can break, a door that you can break, uh, an enemy, a character, anything could use that. So you might want to put it in a common directory because it's going to be used by lots of game systems. That's one example, uh, but you have some, perhaps some sounds, some shadows, some shaders that may be shared between different systems. In this case, you can put them in the common directory. However, everything that's specific, uh, sprites of the player, for example, should be in the player directory. And we use a subdirectory named sprite uh, because there are a bunch of them and we might add more. So we might have lots of files in this folder. We roughly follow these guidelines in various projects, like our app Learn GD Script from Zero, which is made in Godot. Um, this app revolves around a course that contains a bunch of lessons. So we have a course folder and we have a bunch of lessons in there. And we have a common folder in the course. These are the things that are shared between lessons. Uh, we also have a bunch of other folders like game demos. Those are some game demos that we wanted to reuse in the app. You know, if a teammate or a, a fellow professional looks at this, they should be fairly comfortable seeing, okay, there's the course content in there and UI. So the user interface code is all in this folder. I asked peers working on AAA games, and it seems that they tend to use different kinds of folder structures uh, because they tend to reuse files a lot more, be it 3D models or even code files. Uh, so they might use folders like assets, uh, models, I don't know, the name of an environment or something like this, but this doesn't really affect us uh, in the game developers. We tend to have code that is a lot more specific, which is why I recommend this kind of structure, which is specific to your game or your app. On this channel, I answer your questions about Godot and game development. Be sure to subscribe for more. And if you have a question I can answer in five minutes or less, please ask in the comments below. See you soon.